something to me today? And the fact is, he does. The fact is, you need to get along and go and do what God wants you to do today. Because if you don't, you're going to be misled by somebody. Because if you're misled by your church, you'll be misled by your church. If you're misled by your dog, your dog will mislead you. If you're misled by your, your way of looking at things, you'll be misled by that, your own intellect. If you're misled by spiritual things, you think you're a spiritist, you know, and you can somehow rebuke Satan and rebuke, you know, demons and the Jezebel spirits and all the other weirdo things that you're involved in, hey, you're already deceived, so it's no problem. You'll wind up in hell sooner or later. But the reality is Jesus said something very simple and very quiet and very still. Something you need to get alone, go out somewhere in sunshine or even shade or rain or snow or hail or whatever, but someplace quiet. And stop and take the time to say, Jesus, speak to me. And if he doesn't say to you, come to me, you got fingers in your ears or wax from the world plugging your heart, soul, and mind from hearing from the living God. And today, more than any other day that you could imagine, you need to hear from God today. And you need to do what he has to say. Not what I say, but what he says. Because that's the will of God for you.